Hi everyone, welcome to our video poster about DigiFlex, a concept for short digital courses for commission education. My name is Ann Ote Stig. And my name is Lena Lundgren. We teach at the Department for Media and Communication at the Mid Sweden University in Sundsvall, Sweden. Our university has worked with distance education for many years now. But a few years ago, we started to feel that we wasn't up to date with the new technology. We traditionally work in a text-based Moodle environment with strict limitation when it comes to images, videos and designs, etc. But our university also encouraged pedagogical development. And around that same time, me and Liana took a recommended higher course in scholarship or teaching and learning. And with the insights of the potential new role as a teacher and what learning really means in a theoretical perspective, we was eager to try something new. And when we also consider the fact that we actually work at a department that teaches journalism, public relations and all these special skills that comes with it. We felt that we really should be able to do this much better. After a workshop with reverse brainstorming, we formed our project based on what we didn't want to do. A boring digital environment, like the standard courses in Moodle that we were used to. No audio audiovisual elements and fixed start and stop dates, lectures and examinations. We decided to try our ideas within the field of commissioned education, since there were less communicative and visual limitations there. Theoretically, we had always had a more constructivist perspective, which in our opinion enables more co-creation and sees the teacher as more of a facilitator than as a traditional instructor. What we wanted to do was to lower the threshold for our colleagues to dare to try something new and to not to be intimidated by digital tools or maybe just to transfer their ordinary classroom education into the digital platform. What we wanted to do was to produce shorter courses that with uh, free start, free speed and easy access via uh, smartphones and tablets enable for the buying organization and their employees to combine the studies with their ordinary day-to-day -day work. Our pilot is set up as a WordPress page that you get access to after buying the course. Each course is structured in modules for smooth navigation. The page is designed to minimize long text and to create visual variation. All courses have a lot of audiovisual elements such as short podcasts or videos. Since this specific course is about videos for social media, it mainly consists of just videos. The visual language and how we address the viewer have been important to us. The feeling should be more like a YouTube video than a traditional lecture. Here is an example when our colleague Matthias showed the importance of proper lighting in videos. So what have we learned? Well, Combining the scholarship of teaching and learning with skills in, for example, journalism and public relations is an advantage when it comes to framing messages and creating narrative digital content. A clear concept. The courses have this module structure with similar elements. The teacher can focus on the content since we provide the template and the technical support. And that also reduces the workload for the teacher. Audiovisual elements is key. We expect that everywhere, so why not in higher education? Our concept, combined with the shorter videos and podcasts, is perceived to be more modern. We advise everyone to look for inspiration outside the academic world. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. We look forward to talk more about the project with you at the conference. And please contact us by email if you have any questions in the future. Bye bye. bye. bye.